If you have not subscribed to this channel, press this subscribe button to get subscribed and press this bell icon to get notification as I upload my new video. Hello guys, welcoming you all in another episode of Weekly Tech Updates. I am Amit and you are watching Tech Moments. So without any further delay, let's get started. The very first update is about the first human knight who got a citizenship by the Saudi Arabia. This news is going very viral, so let's have a look towards it. This human knight robot name is Sophia. She looks a bit like Audrey Hepburn and gives facial expressions while talking. She has an answer for every question and she is the first robot to be granted citizenship of Saudi Arabia. Sophia is a humanoid robot developed by Hansen Robotics, who is programmed to be witty, was interviewed by business writer Andrew Rockstrokin at the Future Investment Conference in Riyadh on Tuesday. Shokin Sokin also announced that Sophia has been awarded citizenship of Middle Eastern Kingdom, the first of any robot. Saudi Arabia is making an effort to promote itself as a destination to develop artificial intelligence and Sophia's citizenship, which is also moving towards the bolster the effort. Sophia, who took to the podium to answer all the questions, claimed that her only purpose was to help humans to live a better life, but Sokin also asked some back off and addressed concern over the rise of artificial intelligence. Saudi Arabia's decision to grant Sophia citizenship also raised quite a few eyebrows as many commentators pointed out the country's dismal record when it comes to giving equal rights to women. Sophia's address the crowd without the customary headscarf and abaya with, which Saudi women are required to wear. The another update is about Claris Automatic Drug Injector System which prepares doses of drugs for the patients. Cambridge Design Partnership, a company that helps other firms design new products, is starting its recent work on the Claris Auto Injector Management System. Auto injectors such as those used by people with multiple sclerosis and rheumatoid arthritis are a bit of hassle to maintain. They need to be stored in fridge and warmed up before injecting, making sure to prepare everything at the right time. The Chlorus automates its process by being a mini fridge for the auto injector which automatically warms up the drug cartilage in preparing for the injection time. Yuri Bosch, who worked on the Chlorus at Cambridge Design Partnership, compared a machine to automatic coffee maker by companies such as Nespero and Chloric. The drugs are kept inside the small containers that pops into the working and to auto injector so every injection time the patient has a ready to go dose without much of thing or to do what about. This is also not ready made product yet so we will have to wait for that to happen become some time the patient can get their hands on towards it. The another update is about future of vision and eye care. 3D printed digital contact lenses, bionic eye implants, augmented reality eye conditions, explainers. The future of vision and eye care is full of science fiction recording innovations. Here is where digital help and will allow me in the future. More than 80% of perception comes through vision. The researcher estimates that 80 to 85% of our perception traveling, coordinations and activities are mediated through vision. Compared to that, our hearing only processes 11% of information, while smile 3.5%, touch 1.5% and taste only 1%. Eye conditions affect way too many people worldwide. The International Agency for the Prevention of Blindness estimated that in 2015, 36 million of people are blind and 217 million people suffer from moderate or several distance vision impairments. It is hopeful tendency that prevalence of blindness and visual impairment combined has dropped from 2.58% in 1990 to 3.37% in 2050. The decrease can be attributed to progress in technology, for example, in surgical techniques and concentration rating of eye infections. With bionic eyes for reversing blindness, 
disruptive technologies gave a huge boost to creative minds of ophthalmology. Types of conditions causing blindness such as AMD or retinitis pigmentosa and inherited eye condition causing loss of sight gradually and causing blindness for an estimated 1.5 million people worldwide have been treated from this thing successfully with mind-blowing innovations. Eye care patients will also become the point of care with the advancement of smartphones and other smart gadgets at lightning speed. It is only a matter of time before portable devices will appear on a large scale in ophthalmology as well the tiny, well designed and connected instruments and the accompanying apps make it possible to undertake eye examination and even in the world. Making patient the point of care for doing these things, we have to take care of all the remaining things. The next update is that scientists have seen that brain is rewiring itself for advanced prosthetics. Scientists at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, working with investigators in other institutes, managed to see using functional magnetic resonance imaging that is MRI how the brain recognizes itself. Other person is treated and targeted monitor and sensory re-inventory that is TMSR. TMSR is a matter of redirecting existing nerves on or near the amputee stomp to muscle and skin areas. Sensors can be detected that a nerve activates a muscle for example and use that to control a prosthetic device. The result is any easy and intuitive way for amputees and manipulate advanced prosthetics that have multiple degree of freedom of movement. The brain has to remap the neural pathway and order to associate the generation of particular signal to the brain. The moment of prosthetics, these pathways are different from one evolution stage, based, but because of neuroplasticity, the brain is able to adapt and let the other parts to itself control them that those brain regions were never designed to control. The same principle applies in sensory reinventions that absolute a sense of touch from the prosthetics of the brain. The new technology should keep in improving PMSR and getting the brain much faster at using new prosthetics. The another update is Qualcomm's new virtual reality app who teaches us about the diagnosis of stroke. Qualcomm, the developer of mobile processors and more is promoting the use of virtual reality and in the fast process its Snapdragon technology. Though the release of a medical app, it is unveiled the Think FASD virtual reality app that trains medical students and other to diagnostic signs of a stroke. As the name implies, it relies to FASD, mnemonic that is face, arm, speech, time. That's why the user has to remember what to do or for evaluating a possible stroke victim. Here I am attaching a video of yes, cloud. Here I am attaching a video of that. Let's have a look towards it. So that's all about the weekly tech updates from the Biomedical Society. If you like the video, hit the like button and share this video with other biomedical engineers also. Don't forget to subscribe this channel because I used to come up with this type of videos weekly. So this is Avit Mohanaman signing out. Jai Hind.